Hi, this is Michelangelo, and we're going to look at a demo of infection. Well, first of all, we need to make sure that uh, we have our PHP unit in there, and that we also have a PHP unit configured correctly. What I did here is I have some coverage set up here. The special uh, coverage is something that you can find on the infection website. Now, as we're at the base of the project, when I say vendor bin PHP unit, I get no code coverage because I don't actually have any tests. So let's go back here. And let's write some tests. And I can check out this. So now I have my test here. And I also have some classes over here. So if you now say PHP unit. As you can see, it now generates all kinds of uh, coverages, and all the coverages will be placed over here. So, this is the coverage you will need for infection. Just to give you an idea about the coverage that we have, well, we have 100% code coverage. Just to give you a little view, everything is taken care of, all the methods, classes, functions, and all those kinds of things. So let's add some infection to the framework. Yeah. Let's skip this for a second. We now look at our infection, uh, sorry, our uh, composer JSON. We now see that we have infection added. So, this is a very basic infection configuration that we can use more information about configuring infection can be found on the website. I will put this in the show notes, the link to the website. So, clean it up here. What I do need to now uh, say This is the location where my code coverage will end up in. So I'm running infection. It will iterate 80 times over my source code, changing one mutation at a time. And as you can see, I already have two escaped muta mutations. As it runs through it, it will also generate a uh, infection log file. So if I go back here, I now have a build logs infection log. So if I go here, I have my infection log .txt, and as you can see, this file is now explaining exactly what kind of mutation has been accessed. So you see a decrement integer, one zero integer. So this is my example I used also in my presentation. And it goes on. And it also has a list of all the mutations being killed. So you can see I have all of these checked out. 
if I scroll all the way to the bottom, here you go. Where is it? Oh. So this is a mutation that is debatable where what I provide as an argument for my client being flipped from true to false. Uh, yeah, it's something that is not our concern at this point uh, because we're making that call, but maybe we want to have a look at it if that service call has a certain a specific uh, purpose but I consider that to be an integration and not uh, a mutation so if we go back to our execution well we're not doing that bad we have 18 iterations for mutations 15 Nine mutants were already killed. One mutant not covered, which I explained earlier. Three covered mutants were not detected, so we missed a couple of mutants. And we came across 70 errors. The errors themselves, I would not really worry about it, because what it does is basically saying... Uh, that uh, uh, PHP units itself errored out. So these are the kills. Let's see. If we can find. Uh, here is an example where my public visibility has changed. So, because now it's a protected function, PHP unit cannot access it anymore, and therefore it errored out. So basically, we already captured this, this particular type of mutation. Um, yeah, depending on your use case, you might wanna yeah, have a look at it or not. So, yeah. these, mutations actually have all been triggered by, by changing the public visibility to protect it. And it goes on. So, if we consider them to be captured because PHP unit was not able to execute it, then we're okay. Um, of course, we want to make some modifications. Yeah, so, let's go and do that. Check this out. All right, let's run it again. Immediately, you see it will now execute it um, with seventy five mutations. So, five mutations. Are now already eliminated in the source code. I will also share the link to the source code in the show notes. But if I compare this first line already with what I already had, we're doing a better job. We killed the escape mutants. There you go. There's one. 
that we consider it's not covered that's okay I can live with that so we now have a 99% score which is a very good uh, position at this point so that was my small introduction for uh, infection on a small code base. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you next time.